Hello everybody and welcome back to Cut Content, the show where we bring a guest along who has three things that they want to cut from the world of video games forever. My name is Ben. My name is Peter. And we're joined by actual wrestler, Ring of Honor's Joe Hendry. Hi Joe. Hello. How, How are, are you doing? I'm doing very well, thanks. It's been a while since we've since we've seen you because we sort of worked together briefly over at What Culture we a few years we did, ago. We did indeed. You did some indeed. gaming stuff over there as well. Yeah. I did indeed. Did yeah. indeed. Um, I will say, just if people are wondering what this is, I'm holding <laughs> a dog lead at the moment. My dog has had uh, an operation. He's absolutely fine, but he needs 24/7. Uh, supervision right now. He's uh -huh. trying to eat his lead at the moment. Excellent. So um, that that's always good. Right. Yeah. If he succeeds, I may disappear from the shot to go and collect him. That's fine. But, uh, no problem. Anyway, does he have go. any hot takes about video games? Um, he's he's uh, he's a Dota two guy. You know, Is he's he? into the hard stuff. Okay. He's, uh, Fair enough. Yeah, it's just. That's beyond me. Damn, uh, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we'd be able to hold a conversation with him because yeah, that's a bit too far flung yeah, for us. Yeah, it's above well, us, really. yeah, for sure. Goodness me. So, on your on your busy, busy travels as a, <laughs> as, as a wrestler... He's now trying to eat actual, your equipment. Is he? Yeah, well, he's, he's thinking can about it. it. He's thinking about he can, it. If he wants it, he can have it. He's thinking about it. We can open a tab for him. <laughs> yeah, charge him absolutely. Can you, you imagine if we didn't actually have a dog there? This could just be a bit. A really weird bit. Yeah, a really weird bit. So, Joe came in this morning and he was like, guys, I've got an amazing idea. Yeah. <laughs> I've got this joke lead, yeah. and it's going to be ten minutes of material. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be phenomenal. It won't be funny or entertaining. It'll pay off at the end, but, but it'll be there. It's yeah. just for yes. us. It's just for yes. us. Do you have much time to play games these days? Because you're, you're busier than ever. It right? is tough. It's really tough. The answer is yes, um, mm. because I am doing a lot of uh, international flights at the moment. Hey, leave it. <laughs> <laughs> they say never work with uh, with animals. Um, there you go. Children. Yeah. Um, there we go, he's settled in there. I do have time, I take the Switch with me. Switch. I Excellent. take the Switch with me. I've been playing Wargroove. Have mm -hmm. you guys played it? I haven't, Oh no. my god. It's, did, did you ever play Advance Wars back in the day? I, I'm afraid not. Come no. on, guys, come We've on. We've got footage over the top, so we, we know what you're talking about. You Wargroove is fantastic. Okay. It's amazing, um, and it's like I work for the company here, mm. um, but they've got, a, they've got a free <laughs> patch coming out um, oh. at the end of October. So I've almost 100%ed it. Uh, I've got a few more challenges to do, but I want to get that done before the patch. Right. So, um, so is this additional content in the patch? It's so basically what it is is some of the units are pretty overpowered. Like oh, you see. get like, a, and but again, I kind of like that because it, you know, I feel clever for mm -hmm. identifying which units are overpowered. I feel, yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm, <laughs> I feel like I'm beating the game. You know yeah. what I mean? I feel like I'm a big clever man. And so. you think maybe when they do a patch, they're going to nerf a lot of units. And they be they are. That's it. They've they've right. said that's what they're going to do. Okay. So I, you oh, you've exposed it. my true personality <laughs> there. I think yeah. that's fair enough, man. I yeah. think we've all been there though to just take advantage of a game. Because it's not yeah. cheating if it's in there intentionally. If it's, if it's right? in the, and I want to talk about this mm. because back in you remember Tekken three, mm -hmm. okay? So I remember playing that against my stepsister, right? Um, and th this is the thing: if it's in the game, it's in the game. Yeah, right. I'm going to go with the EA Sports slogan. It's what is it? It's in the game. It's yes, in the game. Yes, yes. Yeah. EA Sports e on EA this, Sports. right? So I'm playing Tekken three. I'm Yoshimitsu, nice big kick or whatever. She's on the ground, mm -hmm. you know, and Yoshimitsu can regenerate his health mm. in a very questionable way, but he can. <laughs> that, that's being kind. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, there's it's less action. Yeah, it's, can it's we, less, can we it's do less that again, horizontal. Sorry? Well, I was doing that, but it's, <laughs> it's more vertical, a, really. Yeah, it's not diagonal. Yeah. Easy, okay. even still can't bring yourself to do it fully. You're, you, you know, yeah. You, yeah, it's rather strange. But Yoshimitsu can regenerate his health. Mm. And my dad chimes in and says, You're not allowed to do that move. I'm like, what do you mean you're not allowed to yeah. do that move? What? It's in the game. Yeah. It's like in games like 
well, a lot of games, like Dota or whatever, people say, oh, I see, oh, you're playing as, uh, you know, that classic Dota character. Yeah, you're playing as <laughs> elf, panda, elf Boy. Panda Boy, and yeah. And, yeah, you're scrubbing. Oh, yeah, you scrub, you dirty noob. Well, why don't you play, if you think he's so good, just play as him then. We'll all play as Yoshimitsu yeah. and heal ourselves. Stop, there's, stop together, someone yeah, doing it. There's one exception that ruins the game, right? and it's Odd Job in Golden Axe. Oh, that's yeah. fair, no, that's, that's true. fair. Yeah. That, that has to go. That is the classic one. Do you have a do you have a particular first thing you want to talk about? <sighs> that could have yes, been it. Yes, yes, I do. do. I do. Okay. Now, now here's the thing, right? Like I say, I get to play the, the switch on the plane. Mm. Um, I appreciate that, but you know, here's the thing. I I realized I'm super into gaming not because I really like the games, right? Mm, Which right. I do, yeah. but that's not the reason. The reason I figured this out about myself is because. Nostalgia is a powerful thing, and I reminisce about when me and my brother and my stepsister were all young and we would play games, and that was kind of the way that we socially interacted. Mm. So, but I didn't realize that until now. So, I went ahead, I got, you know, um, I've been building these little computers. I got the Raspberry Pi, oh, yeah. I've got that, I've got the Odroid, and so I've got all the games I ever wanted, all the nostalgia, everything. <laughs> got them all. Yeah. And then I realized, like, these aren't any fun to play by yourself. Oh no. I know, man. I know, and it hit me, and I was like, oh my God, the reason I'm sad is because I'm not, my brother's not here, Yeah. you know? And uh, don't get me wrong, my, my brother is there, but when he is there, he's he's got gamer rage of uh, unacceptable level, <laughs> right. unacceptable. Like literally, like get out of my house, unacceptable gamer rage. You don't want him around your, yeah. your precious Gromit new toys. even just heard about my brother's gamer rage. Yeah. He's, he's wandered off. The area. He's just I'm so, going to bring him back. He's so disgusted that's fine. <laughs> that he's, he's gone. Gromit. Gromit, we need you back on set, yeah. mate. He spotted, he, there's a cork over there. That's oh, what he spotted. A very exciting he's a classy dog. dog. <laughs> now, you guys, I mean, you really should have used um, telepathy to, to know that I was bringing a dog. So I'm going, to, I'm going to put that, put that on We should have just put safety pens all around the exactly. dog. Exactly. You, you know, if you can't do that, then I mean, Jesus. Um, but I'm I guess, so sorry. the thing I probably want to nerf or get rid of yeah. myself yeah. is I, I, you guys can help me with how to put this, but here's the story. It's hard to it is. Yeah. But here's the story. So my cousin goes, listen, you know, again, my cousin's who I used to play games with as well. He's like, come over, got a big screen, got the couch, got the setup, much like your awesome setup over mm -hmm. there, right? Oh, thank you. And he's like, oh, we got this this new game, blah blah blah. Go to play, it, two controllers, ha. Huh. Well, there's there's no couch co-op. Oh, it's wow. just it's, it's either single player or online play, and it's like, look. I don't need an online friend. I've mm. got a friend right here. Got a real friend. That I want to play it. And it's like, there should be the law that you should have to have. If you have online play, mm. you need to have couch call. Yeah, as well. seems you fair have to me. That should be a law. We've talked to some developers uh, we, when we played Borderlands. Yes. Uh, we, were, we were talking about co-op play because Borderlands has it. Mm -hmm. Has couch co-op, doesn't it? It does, yeah. yeah. And uh, they said that part of the reason why this happens nowadays is because games are being pushed to their very limit so that on a single screen you've got that much going ah, on that the performance have, of the right. console is like is right up there so if you're then essentially maybe not quite doubling it because your resolution is is halved but you know you're you're showing that many more explosions and and ai characters moving around and all that kind of thing mm. um you know the the game is sort of designed with one screen in mind, and then they go, "Oh, we don't really have the resources for uh, for two screens." Not that I'm saying that that justifies it, but that's if yeah. in case you wanted to know why it's on the. Uh, I mean, it makes sense, but are graphics really? Are they that important? I agree. Well, that's the are thing, they? Right? Yeah. I'd, I'd rather I'd rather there be a sacrifice. Yes. I played uh, Call of Duty. What was it? Black Ops Four last year, and that their uh, battle royale mode that they have. Uh, that was in split screen, and it was admittedly almost impossible to play because of the graphical yeah, yeah, downgrade yeah, yeah. for it. All of the all of the windows were just completely reflective, so you couldn't right. see people through windows. <laughs> there. But it was there, yeah. and that's the important thing. So it just becomes like Super Nintendo graphics. It's sort of yeah, it yeah, just really potatoes it up. Yeah. But it's a, I still think it's a really important thing. You're right yeah. that it should it should be offered as an option if people want it. Well, some of our favourite older games had couch co-op. We we both love Time Splitters. Mm -hmm. You know that had co-op and uh, split screen deathmatch of course as well yes, yeah. you know? no screen peeking no. yeah no careful no absolutely not so uh, I, I think we're happy to I mean it's, all, it's almost a double negative but we're happy to get rid of games that don't have yes the death the death of couch co-op 
that's what that's what you want yeah, to cut. Yeah, we're cutting the death of couch yes. co-op from the so world. So you want to yes. resuscitate couch co-op. Yeah. Yes. To an extent. I, I would say, I know that's kind of... I think it's good. No, it's, okay. it's, it's, it's a valid good. point. It's, it, okay. What you've done there is a very selfless thing mm. in that a lot of people come in and they've got sort of pet peeves that they want to get rid of. But yeah. that, that's a service for everybody Yeah. to bring it back. You're bringing it back. I like it. There you go. Yeah, we can do that. That's number one. There you go. Joe. Yes. What is your second thing that you would cut? Um, no. Hmm. I'm going to say this, and I'm not going to elaborate on it. This oh. is, for political reasons, I refuse to elaborate on this. Right. Okay. Anyway. Okay, but I think you and many others will agree with me. Okay. I'm not going to talk about any anyone individually, any companies individually, yeah. anything like that. But as a genre, now. As a genre, wrestling games need to go away for a while. Oh my god. That's a that's a pretty hot take from an actual wrestler. They, and need, gamer. they need to go away for a while. We we the world cannot be trusted with them right now. Right, and you said for political reasons you can't. I will really not go elaborate. There is no need to elaborate. Right. Are we allowed to elaborate and use just you just sit stoically? I, I would appreciate if you elaborate in your private time. Okay. When I when I've left. Right. Um, but I remember wrestling video games were a huge part about why I got into wrestling. Mm -hmm. You know that really helped accelerate the process. From thinking the hours he's going for the cork that, again. Oh, he's going for the cork. <laughs> yeah, he's not happy it's about these cork. games either. Gromit, come back. Gromit, yeah. nice try. We nice need you, try. mate. <laughs> yeah, we need you, bro. I know you. I know you feel strongly about games as well. <laughs> yes, go on. There we do we need go. to get some Gromit footage we before do. he goes we as well. Go just on, Gromit, just to prove that he's there. Sit. There we go. I know. There's we also do. a tube of paint over there, so that's good. I'm yeah, hoping that's it's good. Non Notoriously yeah. delicious paint yes, as well. Absolutely. Anyway, where were we? Wrestling mm. video games. They used to be absolutely iconic. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and and here's the thing. It wasn't just one particular system where you had iconic pro wrestling games, you know, PlayStation, N64, like even like, one of my favorite games of, of all time is Far Pro Wrestling for the Game Boy Advance, mm -hmm. you know? It's like, if you're into, like if you notice the reviews for that weren't amazing, right? But if you really got into it, if you bought into the niche of Far Pro Wrestling for the Game Boy Advance, you were, you, you got it, you know? Just the, the create a, a wrestler in that was unbelievable. The, the the fighting system was amazing. And obviously there are faster paced games, uh, like, you know, SmackDown 2 is one that I loved on the PlayStation. Then you've got, obviously, all the, the entire AKI series um, mm. on N64. Um, you know, I talk about those a lot. Those are amazing, but you, we just can't be trusted with wrestling games anymore. Mm. Well, we yeah. just did a list, didn't we, on the 10 best wrestling games. At the time, time of recording, we recorded it last night. It should be out now. I think it's on, out already. Uh, on Cultaholic, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the 10 best wrestling games, and many of those that you just mentioned are in that list. games are on there. Five Pro Wrestling. Wait there, let me, let me guess. Um, uh, do you know what the name has just escaped me? But I, 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 I have it. It's the it's the AKI um, Virtual Pro Wrestling Two. That's on there. Have you played that? Honestly, see when you go Stan Hansen on that, you're just like, <laughs> the, the laddie. It's it's satisfying. I think yeah, it was you know? top five material in that list. Yeah. yeah. And you pine for those days. You want them back. I want them back. And you yeah. think that can only be achieved by wrestling games taking Sometimes a little Sometimes you need to take it away. You need to, they need a mm. hiatus. Well, for too long, it's like cream egg. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm not, okay. I don't. I don't like cream egg, but the people that do, mm. there's a demand because they take it away for a while. They yeah. do. Well, it's like oh, who? Oh, no, he'll it's get his cream, cream egg, egg soon. Yeah. No, it's okay, Gromit. It'll be I'll Easter soon. again soon. We'll some food. You know, we'll some food. Who, who would ever wish it was Christmas every day? What a terrible wizard. idea. Wizard. Well, yeah, yeah, but what the wizard? Wizard, wizard or Slade? That Which one is it? One of those. Horrible purgatory. Yeah, it would well. be hell. Groundhog yeah. Day, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. yeah. It'd be so expensive on Christmas well. because no one would sympathise with you because they'd be all happy. They'd be thinking like, oh well, don't worry. Let's have fun today and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Yeah, Christmas. You can because you're just going to go through that over and over again. Yeah. Well, oh, he's, over. Oh, he's, he's sniffing. gone again. He's sniffing get, a plastic here. shark now. Come Gromit. here. It's not a real shark, bud. <laughs> Apex predator. He yeah. is Gromit he is. the dog. Go on, <laughs> sit down for me, boy. Even <laughs> then, recovering from opera, uh, from, from an operation, he's still having he's to take on. He's comfortable taking on the shark. The king just, of the ocean. It's just prison rules, yeah. isn't it? He there saw the go. biggest, most threatening thing in the room. And he is that a street shark? shark? Is that what that is? I have oh, no idea. Boy. I think Tom I think uses it in cultaholic shark. news. I think it's a little hand puppet thing. I don't know. I think Do you it's know a generic shark. I went on a spree recently on eBay where I was just, I don't know why. I go through these weird phases where I'm like, oh, I'd like a nice watch. 
and then mm. all I can think about is watches for a while. And then I'm yeah. like, oh, I'd like a, a Raspberry Pi microcomputer, and then that's the obsession. And yeah. then mm. For some reason, I was like, it'd be nice to have some action figures on the desk for the podcast. And right. then I was like, what am I doing? I'm looking for like old Nickelodeon action. Like I'm trying to get Ren and Stimpy imported right. from America. I was about like, to what the say, hell? You know, like, <laughs> do you mean like non-wrestling, like Street Sharks? And yes. Ren and Stimpy, yeah, that's why. Yeah. And I would just made me Fantastic. think. I need a Street Shark. You need yeah. a Street Shark. And, and the thing is, I had a Street Shark, but obviously threw it away because oh, you think you know you get too old for toys, yeah. and then you realise that's a, that's a rib. Yeah, that whole you, thing's a rib, and then you want you know? them back. I totally yeah, sympathise. There's that's... only like a five-year period where you can't have toys, yeah. right? You know what I mean? <laughs> and then where you think they're not cool, and then and then you want to reown your again. childhood. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's exactly the reason I managed to completely destroy my monthly budget by buying up every Game Boy that I could find wow. and starting that collection, which is something I never needed to do. You had a brief period where you didn't. I was have like, Game oh Boys. my god, remember how good Game Boys were? And then I bought all of them and then when you get them you're like oh they're not not as good as I thought the thing is the nostalgia of having it is always more powerful than the actual thing well maybe that's exactly how it should work with wrestling games maybe we should have that five year period yep five years off the five year no compete clause Mm -hmm. yeah yeah. should apply to video games as a, not as a whole, but wrestling video games. Wrestling video games. Yes. Well, I think there that's it. Wrestling video games, they're cut. Temporarily, they're maybe. Temporarily <laughs> cut. They're having a suspended prison sentence somewhere. House arrest, yeah. maybe. I don't know. We're not going any further into detail than that, though, for reasons. <laughs> they're cut. Joe, it's time for your final point. We're not going to address and the... No, and, uh, and Gromit is also here. Hello. Yeah, so he is real. Nice he is real. to meet you, Gromit. Welcome to the show. You can ask him for a paw and he'll give you one. Oh, Hold oh. up, like a high five. High five. Oh, oh that's go. very good. <laughs> what a good boy. Yeah, my Terry used to do that. Okay, last point, Joe. Yeah. What are you cutting from video games forever? I'm going to put him in his bed. Well, He's Gromit, Gromit. Gromit's had his moment of yeah. fame now. <laughs> yeah. So, here we go. Right, sit. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Very well Lie down for me. He's well behaved. He's yeah. well behaved. He's a good boy. Now, the last thing, this is selfish. Oh. This is incredibly selfish. Okay. I'm just not good enough at online games, okay? Mm-hmm. Right. So, um... We, you need to help me come up with a point here, but we need some sort of system. Okay. So, let's say PUBG, for example. Mm. If I'm playing that, I just usually get wasted in the first, you know, five minutes because sure. I'm not good enough. Mm. But the thing is, my point is, if you don't see people enough in PUBG. You know, you're walking around collecting items, and then as soon as I see someone, I get killed. Right. So, I need... I, I need some way to practice because right. I know they've got that whole system where oh, if someone's 100 meters away you have to aim just above their head piss off mm. <laughs> I, you know what that might be my point this yeah. whole oh this aiming thing where oh you have to put the bullet just a bit no drop I want the dot on the head right I want, I want it to be a video game you exactly. want to be a shooting it's, simulator exactly right That's, it's almost like what goes wrong with the wrestling games thing right. I don't yeah. want it to be too realistic if I point the dot at the guy's head I don't care if he's in a different country if I can <laughs> see him and it's the dots on his head that should be a kill so that's one thing but the other thing is it's not just PUBG right. it's really kind of any sort of online game okay. because what happens is again I don't have a lot of time to play games at the moment I'm busy I'm flying all over the place yeah. I got the switch but you know so I feel like to enjoy any game online you have to be an expert at it mm. you have to put loads of time into it can't there be a way to just play online and have a bit of fun are there, are there, are there different leagues are there ways of doing this like mm. is, there, is there a way to regulate this better mm. I need I need my ego protected here So you want sort of like uh, a little ego protection? A full well, so ego protect. It's called ego protection, but it's a sort of a full time professionals who don't have enough time to get good and practice at multiplayer games. They have their own there special you go. server. <laughs> full time professionals. Yeah, full time professional <laughs> league, but it's it's yes. different from the esports the FCP league. The server. Yes. Well, professional league. Even just games that have because some games do try and match make properly, where they yeah. they or it kind of knows how good you are. Some of them do it better than others, but you know they they got they have a reasonably good algorithm a lot of games whereas others hey, you know don't have that at all come, come here hey sniffing the guitar, guitar. oh there. my goodness i know I think he's okay. i'm sorry hey, buddy it's okay i'm sorry gromit gromit gotta go back over there mate <laughs> go and chill in bed there go and chill in bed go and chill in bed for me he was looking for the professional league I he was sorry i'm causing the edit no, it's, no, no. Work it's all staying in you want a professional league where people who don't have enough time um, in their in their busy busy lives to sort of practice multiplayer games can go on and they can actually have fun and feel like they're yes. achieving something. Yes, and there should be. It's almost like it's weird in life. You know how everyone goes, oh, you know, these days, 
you know, there's no winners or losers. It's people have participation medals. Mm -hmm. When it comes to video games, I feel like I need a little bit of yeah, a, a little bit of a an ego boost. A pat yeah, on the back. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. A little, you know, not participation medal, but. You know, I need a couple easy kills. Yeah. Right. Some XP. I can get better if everybody's great. Sure. You know? It's I need to get the reps in. I don't know. So you guys help me. Do I get rid of the bullet drop off or do I create my own full time <sighs> professionals league? Well, I think could, in the could... professionals league there is no bullet drop off, perhaps. Okay, that's so true. we just sort of combine them both. But that yeah. is it's a real issue that because it is. in unless you're there opening weekend of Call of Duty coming out, mm. you're done. And yeah. if you go into it a few months later, you just stand no chance at all. Well, it's like the, the Crash Team Racing uh, remake that they just did, mm -hmm. I think, uh, lost a lot of its audience, certainly in, in really. the online uh, area, by the fact that, again, they didn't have any There's kind no of matchmaking. matchmaking. So you would just you would join a race, you'd be up against eight people, and there was always going to be two or three people who are weird machine Crash Team Racing boffins. Yeah, they're like <laughs> yeah. Terminators, yeah. yeah. And uh, they've recently just added in matchmaking. I sort of can't be bothered to even put the disc back oh, in. Oh, no, it's, it's out of state. It's welcome now. They, yeah, it would really? get so they've done bad, it sooner than... The person in first would finish and finish so far ahead of everyone else that the countdown timer would run out and nobody else would finish the race. <laughs> yeah. It's just ridiculous. See, that's one thing. I get annoyed at Mario Kart when it works against me, mm -hmm. but it does keep it pretty, you know. The, the only thing is about Mario Kart, you can be undisputably the best racer, mm -hmm. but you're just not going to win that blue shell but there are other times I feel like some other times I watch matches and I think it's kind of skewed in favour of the person who's in first because you know if you're in third or fourth there's shells coming yeah. from, from all angles where if you're in first you know mm, who knows but I think, I think Mario Kart look it's not perfect in terms of its balancing but it appeals to me yeah you know, yeah. it, that's, that's probably bad. one of the first games we'll add to the full time professionals league. Right. We'll get we'll get on that we'll straight away. We'll go and talk to Mr. Nintendo, and we'll uh, yes, we'll make that happen. Okay, well, so we're, I guess we're cutting mixed leagues. Yes, we're cutting mixed leagues for full time professionals and establishing our own professional league with no bullet drop off. Yeah, yes. where everyone's welcome, but only at weekends and certain hours of the day when they're free on exactly. planes, and that's it. It, the whole thing is there. It's hyphenated. It's the longest name yeah. of any professional league. And if you get too, if you get too good, then you have to go. Yeah, you've got to, right. have to yeah. go. Then, then you're not a full time professional anymore. No, exactly. Because if we even think that you're taking any time away from your profession, mm -hmm. so like for example, if you're on holiday from work, there should be sanctions. You know, yes. To be in the league, and you play your own time, whatever. But you know, if you're going to be in the league. Got, you got to, in fact yeah. I think this is going to be you ever read the book 1984 mm -hmm. I think we need that kind of control over right. your life we need to know what you're doing cameras in everyone's living yes. room yes. if you're going to be in this league you have to be yeah. in it and, oh if you speak negatively about the league you probably don't want to speak negatively about the league right there might is that there might be violence perhaps um, that's that's putting it mildly oh my you know? goodness so. okay yeah we don't want to go into that yeah. just make sure your kill to death ratio is bang on zero that's it nobody's doing look, well listen you kill a few folk you, you, you die a couple times it's yeah. fine it's going to be go. a great we're all going to have a great time in the professional league okay it's it's done it's established that's thank happened. you it's in the books Joe Hendry, thank you so much thank for joining us. Thank you for having me. Gromit, thank you yeah, for Gromit, being... Yeah, Gromit, thank you he's for, been a good boy. for coming along. He's been, along. been, he's been, so been good. a good boy. Where can people find you if they want to sort of catch up with you on a day-to-day -day basis or come see you at a show? How can they find out about that? Okay, so I'm on Twitter. It's just at Joe Hendry. Uh, same on Instagram as well. Um, basically, I'm doing uh, pro wrestling classes as now. So if, uh, sorry, that, that was a weird way I said that. I'm doing <laughs> pro wrestling classes now. So I've been talking for a long time yeah, today. It's but, Gromit, isn't it? Uh, just keep an eye on my Twitter and my Instagram. I'll have all the info about that. Um, but I guess the main thing is um, come and check out Ring of Honor. Um, if you're in the States, check your local listings. Uh, if you're in the UK or anywhere for that matter, it's free on Fight TV as well. So I nice. uh, watch the show there. So keep up with the product. We're doing awesome things. Um, and thank you guys for having me. Oh, pleasure. Thanks for coming. It's nice to see you. Yeah, thank it's you. been too long. And oh, Gromit's off. He, he is off. That's Joe's got to go chase I'm Gromit gonna, out I'm the door go now. But thank yeah. you so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.